Miners and other residents of Madhya at the weekend met and interacted with Minister of Natural Resources, Honorable Vikram Bharat, and Minister of Amarindian Affairs, Pauline Sukai. The ministers were accompanied by Head of the Ghana Geology and Mines Commission, Mr. Newell Dennison, and Deputy Commissioner of the Ghana Forestry Commission, Mr. Tashrif Khan. At a meeting Friday evening, the team held discussions with miners and residents of the area. The small miners believe they are at a disadvantage when it comes to the use of mining lands, a concern that is familiar to Minister Barrett. To ensure that we have proper roads in the, in the hinterland regions, in the hinterland regions. Our objective over the next two to three years is to ensure that we open up new areas. As a matter of fact, what we are discussing right now is for GGMC to have a road works unit meaning we have truck and, and, and bulldozer and excavator and roller and all these equipment so that we can open up new areas because it is expensive to open new areas. I can tell you that. The minister urged the I know as small miners, you're faced with this problem that you're being used as prospectors, meaning that the big miners put you on the land, and when you, when you, find, when you find something, they come and put you off the land. I know that's one of the biggest issues that we have. Right? But you, you need to understand our position in a situation like that too. That was a private arrangement between you and the landowner. So when you make a contract between someone, you need to make a proper contract. Mining has been driving our country's economy over the last couple of years. Mining is driving our economy right now. That is why I want to commend you. I want to start by commending you for the effort that you're making. Yes, we have oil and gas, and there is so much talk and so much emphasis on oil and gas. But I want to assure you, on behalf of the government of Guyana, that we will not neglect the mining sector or the logging sector or agriculture or any other of the traditional and non-traditional sectors at the expense of oil and gas.